Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Pastor Tim Marr from Calvary Bible Chapel in Toledo, Ohio. I want to invite you to come out and join us tonight at our family night gathering at Wednesday night, 6.30 p.m. Tonight we're going to be talking about peace part two. Last week we talked about the peace of God and uh, how do we implement this into our lives. You know, the Bible says that the peace of God passes all of our understanding and will guard our hearts and our minds. We've been talking about how we need to guard our heart by guarding our mind, and we guard our mind by guarding our ears. We must be careful what we entertain. Uh, even with good intentions, sometimes people can be used to speak things into your life that are not driven or motivated by the Spirit of God. So we must be careful what we allow into our ears. Tonight, we're going to be talking about, rather than guarding against negativity, we're going to be talking about how we need to guard our hearts by feeding on the Word of God, spending time in the presence of God, and being careful as to what it is that we dwell on. The Apostle Paul said these words, Finally, my brethren, what sort of things are pure, holy, just, of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. So in order to walk in peace, first of all, we must dwell on the things of the kingdom. We need to dwell on the word of God, spend time in the presence of God, make the spirit of God a priority in our lives in order to have peace, not rest, not necessarily quiet, but peace, a, a firm trust that God's in control. He's uh, Lord of our lives. He's in control of what's happening in us, through us, around us. And we are indeed his children. And how can we, moving forward, have peace in turbulent times, knowing that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, and that we are destined for greatness, we're destined for victory. We are not merely dragging through this life, hoping for one day to be caught off to glory, but that we can have glory here on earth as representatives of the kingdom of God. Tonight, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be wonderful. Wednesday night, 6.30 p.m., come on out. Let's open the word of God together. Let's worship together, and let's have a wonderful time in the presence of the Holy Spirit. I look forward to seeing you tonight. Come on out, 6.30 p.m. It's going to change your life. I hope to see you there.